The ocean is the biggest thing in the world, and I fought it, and I lost. And I did nothing except for put a bodysuit on or whatever the f you call this thing. Get me in there. Get me out. That was <laughs> the first time I went fishing with old Matty Matheson, we went noodling for catfish in Oklahoma. And I've been dying to get the big dog back in the water ever since. This time, though, we're swapping the muddy, snake-infested river waters for the salty, chilly North Atlantic Ocean and its own set of monsters to worry about. Huh? Today on Local Legends, I can't yes, swim. Brad and swim. Maddie go spearfishing. Hey. No. Whoa. Maddie's a legend, no doubt, but not when it comes to spearfishing. I didn't know what it was. For that, we've got local legend Charlie Nutting, a Boston boy with an absolute fervor for spearfishing and marine creatures. In a previous life, he was working in the corporate world, up until the day he discovered spearfishing by chance. He loved it so much, he traded in the business suit for a wetsuit and hasn't looked back. That a boy, Charlie. I'm pretty new to the sport, and this is Maddie's very first time free diving, with or without a spear. I can hold my breath, I don't know, 18 seconds. So I thought Charlie would be the perfect expert to show us the ropes. All right, lead the way, nutting. Today, we're targeting Tatog, also called Tog or Blackfish, known for its firm and easy-eating ivory white meat. There's not we a got... single Tog in town that's safe. As fun as free diving is, it's also extremely dangerous. Between the strong currents, the easily tangled lines, the rocks, the sharp spear you're carrying, a million things can go wrong, so being well informed and well prepared is vital. The ocean and its inhabitants don't care about you at all, and if they do, well, you got other problems. Larry sharks! Not to mention that tax man lurking around these areas, looking for its favorite food, Maddie Matheson. Oh, no, I'm just kidding, seals. But you know what we look like swimming around in our wetsuits and fins all awkwardly? Seals. I saw a fish swim by me, and I thought I was gonna die. But we were in good hands with Charlie and his crew. So enough yapping, Brad. Let's get the gang in the water just as soon as we convince old Matty to sign his liability form. What is this? This is just, <laughs> if I die? Yeah, it's basically if you die. Why am I signing something if I die? Noodling was 1,000 times easier than this. Yeah, that's a legend. Put him in the bag. Put him in the bag. Show me around town, yeah. Let's load up some gear, and then we got good old Canadian legend, Matty Matheson, coming down to join us. Bro, wow, look at this yacht we're going on. What's up, man? Charlie, what's up, dude? Nice boat, man. <laughs> Carl's itching on this one. <laughs> what's, uh, where's the boat coming from? Friend of yours, local guy? Buddy of mine owns it, built it, coming from Point Judith, Rhode Island. Couldn't ask for a better diving boat, to be Amazing. honest. I mean, really, all of New England is great structure for fishing cool. and for diving. A lot of people don't recognize, even that have lived here their whole life, they've never thought about the possibility of spearfishing here. So, like, what is spearfishing? Yeah, so spearfishing is uh, essentially a way of harvesting fish to eat. It's one of the more primitive methods, um, but it's also actually one of the more humane methods. A lot of people don't know that it is the method with the least bycatch. So um, you're not dragging a net across the ocean. You're not having to catch four unders before picking the right size fish that's legal. Um, it's just it's a- very selective. Exactly. There's no, exactly. We don't need you to bite a hook. There's no struggle. There's no exactly. stress to it. You know, I didn't know a single thing about free diving or spearfishing until my late twenties. And I realized that, okay, this is a rabbit hole I want to go down. I would send messages to strangers online questions like I get from strangers now. Sure. There is a great community and there's no one mold of person. I mean, sure. I'm, I've made friends through spearfishing that are doctors, lawyers, moms of four, students. The only common thread is we kind of love being out in the ocean and sure. being closer and more connected to the food that we eat. The approach to catching fish with a sharp object. I mean, I mean they must have been trying to since, do that. Since, since people have been hungry. Since people have yeah. been hungry. Like. Yeah, it's been going on for, I mean, well over 10,000 years. I think it started in France. There were guys that would uh, harpoon uh, seals and fish from rocks. And I do a lot more line and reel fishing than yeah. I do spear fishing. Yeah. But dabbling in those both worlds, I kind of say like spear fishing is more like hunting. Yeah, you're hunting right. underwater. It's half hunting, half going to outer space. 
It uh, is another world. It's another world. We're not even very good at being underwater. No. We can't breathe. We're not very good at swimming. It's very humbling in my experience. It 100% is. When you see how fast a slow moving tuna swims, it makes you realize how humans were just not designed to, to hunt underwater. But we do it anyway, because it's fun. Captain Andrew, Brad, nice to meet you, Brad, man. Nice to meet you. Yeah, you too, buddy. I'm Brad. I'm Spencer. Nice to Spencer, meet you, Brad. Nice to meet you, man. Sure. Shoes on, shoes off. Oh, whatever you want, shoes on. All right. Check her out. Woo! A lot more room in my little 20 foot Grady White, bud. <laughs> Just getting ready for Maddie's arrival. This is the pre lube. So, spear fishing and free diving wetsuits, they tend to have open cell neoprene. As it's more flexible, it gives you greater mobility and it can keep you warmer. But the one drawback is if you put them on without any lubrication, it'll rip. So what this is, it's just basically watered down hair conditioner. It helps you slide the suit on. With our friend Maddie never having worn a wetsuit before, the last thing we want is for him to break out of this wetsuit or have to do a polar plunge. She's getting in the water one way or another. <laughs> what is this? What is this? Who brought these? <laughs> I did. This is good luck. Banana's good luck on this boat. Bring the banana. Potassium. Yeah, when you have a cramp today out in the water, don't be Oh bad. my calf. Maddie's going to be like, hey, we got a banana. <laughs> we got Maddie's weight belt. We're going to we're gonna rig up with uh, with some lead weights. I'm thinking maybe we rig this up. Tell yeah, me what you think about this. Let's bud. rig it up now. Wetsuit is essentially a life jacket that covers your whole body. It's full of air. That's what keeps you warm in freezing water. So to counteract all the air bubbles and buoyancy, you need to have some weight, not to make you sink to the bottom, just simply to make you neutrally buoyant again as if you were wearing nothing. That is why you need to wear weights when you free dive, or scuba for that matter. Ah, you scuba? Are you guys full scuba? What does that mean? No, I've never scuba in my life. It kind of scares the out of me. No, you yeah. get the bends or something, right? What I like about free diving is you got your one breath, doesn't matter how deep you go, you can go speed right to the top if you want to. Sign your life away. Yeah, I need a goddamn lawyer, Charlie. <laughs> with, with this vest, I kind of look like um, Walter from uh, The Big Lebowski, I feel like. You do too. Over the line. There's no rules and now, Donnie. Oh, I see him from here. <laughs> Lieutenant Dan! <laughs> Toot toot. Welcome to Boston. It looks nice. The Canadian goose has landed. You got underwear on? Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna try to get you in that wetsuit. We're gonna just jump over here? Yep. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, buddy. Good, Good to Lord. see ya. <laughs> Maddie, Charlie. Charlie. Charlie, Maddie. Maddie. Nice He's to meet our you. local legend, our guide today. Amazing. Ready to shoot your first fish? Have you shot one before? You know, Gatling guns or like <laughs> grenades, <laughs> M80s. M80s dipped in glue with BBs on the outside. Yeah, just blowing up frogs. <laughs> we got a wetsuit for you, man. You just go in there naked? Underoos, underoos. We're lubing you up. You're not lubed up? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're lubing you. It's got to get a little <laughs> inappropriate. We're going to make you a lot of money on OnlyFans. Do you have a big breakfast? No. Good. Good. Why well, I just ate like an RX bar. Three egg whites. 16 right. nuts. <laughs> one date. <laughs> I just started. I started eating healthy like a month ago. Good for you, like no you sugar. Great. Feeling uh, better or now? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. I just like cut out like everything. And I just like eat steak and brown rice and like greens. Instagram doctors, you know? Yeah. yeah like yeah. six <laughs> eggs a day. Yeah. Raw. Six eggs a day, steak. I've been on a boat like three times in my life, you know. Yeah. Well, we got a nice flat one, nice calm day. Weather's it's beautiful, there. right? Yeah, Overcast, good for lighting. How far out are we going? We're not going out to sea much. We're just going uh, away from along the, the shore for a okay. while. Yeah. Assume you're going to be in a wetsuit jumping in in about an hour. Okay. Oh my God. Yeah, this is We're deep. This is Oh, we're in it, bud. <laughs> we're in it, man. There's some water. <laughs> wow. There's some waves, dog. There's some waves. Dude. <laughs> There's some <laughs> Some chaunters. <laughs> yeah, that guy. It's literally you. <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> Is that John Josh Hutcherson? Josh Hutcherson. Oh. Come on. There you go. Come on. I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, dude, he's a yeah, all handsome guys. Yeah. Healy, we're looking at you, bud. We found your doppelganger. <laughs> um, all right, here you go. Maddie, just need to sign your life away. Made uh, a lot of good choices in his career, and then he went spearfishing with Brad and Charlie. Yeah, and then I <laughs> Why am I signing something if I die? It's a death I didn't Because there's risks. There's risk of dying? There's, there's, yeah. yeah. Same way that you're you know, driving on a highway, there's a risk there, there's a risk here. You need it's a little bit different. How many deaths have you had? Uh, none so far. Zero deaths. Yeah, zero deaths. We're batting How many? Knock on wood. We're batting, yeah. <laughs> batting thousands. So, Maddie, this is, correct me if I'm wrong, first time spearfishing, free diving. Yeah. Yeah, big time. I don't go, I don't like to go deeper than six feet. Okay. All right, fair enough. You know? 
in the pool. I like to stay in a pool. So right. if we get you to seven, it's a win. What if, what if I just skim the top, float around like a little frog, you and then could. I have good vision. Okay. Great vision. <laughs> see something. Ka ka ka. But multiple spheres. It's, it's not an automatic. So I yeah the ka ka ka. It's gonna be one ga. Ka. Yeah. And then you miss, and then what? You gotta just like. You gotta and reload. it's more a. It's boom. 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 We're gonna have knives. We're gonna have, gonna have a weight belt. A weight belt. With lead on it. Lead on it. To help you stay under. Help me. I love staying under. <laughs> you gotta hold your breath, and we're gonna put a bunch of lead weight around. Death it. certificate. Hold your breath. <laughs> one snorkel. Starting to check out. 007, little right. boot knife. Right, boot knife. Maybe so a belt knife. So if there's villains, ka, ka, ka. If you get tangled up in an old lobster pot by chance. Electric eels. Not so much. Uh, there are torpedo rays. There's torpedo rays, see? But yeah, they're actually higher electricity. Uh, higher torpedo electricity. Torpedo ray, or Pick more electricity. Torpedo, torpedo ray. Yeah, no, they live by where we're going. Okay, what else is out there? No sharks? No sharks. Sharks, sharks are there. They're sharks. Nope. Yeah. I'm always told if the water's salty, there's sharks. Yeah, whoever told you that, big liar. Yeah. Statistically, this is the highest activity week of the year. Highest activity week of the year. Definitely sharks in the water. Definitely, <laughs> great, definitely great whites in the water. There's great whites. That's the only shark you would see if you did see one. We're in, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I've never. I mean, listen. We're You'll gonna be, be all right. You'll be They're fine. not looking for us, you know. So sunrise is six thirty-six. <laughs> what if I just go under and they can just do this? <gasps> Then you're gonna then you're gonna want to yeah. get up. You'll be surprised. You come preloaded with the intuition to hold your breath. Okay, it's for I'm, sure. I'm as cool as it can be. I get I get that. <laughs> I'm body. stealthy. All right, back to the homework, Charlie. Walk All us right. through Strong it. Strong tides. Buddy. Strong tides. Twelve feet between now and about four thirty. It's yeah. gonna drop twelve feet. Makes it easier to get lobster. Okay. Easier to get fish. I like so. easier. Get rid of 12 feet of water. Right. See ya. Working Bye. on it. Conditions, not the best. We had some really strong northeast winds for like four days before Damn this. Damn northeast winds, man. So like the visibility, yeah. which obviously is important to see fish. It's murked it up You're, a bit. Yeah, it's murked it up a bit. We're going to find they out know about more now. about the galaxy than the ocean. You I don't know. I, I always we know more about outer space than the deep sea. You're right. No, I don't yeah, know right. if that's true, guys. I've always kind of challenged that saying. <laughs> I'm calling bullshit, man. <laughs> don't try to tell me we got space figured out, guys, because I ain't hearing that. All right. All right, plow forward. Gear. Band gun. We have a band gun, which is basically a rubber band gun for adults. And that elastic energy between your elbow or the, the base of the pole spear yeah. and uh, the handle, as soon as you let go, we'll give you, you a demo, chef. And you're going to shoot a tog with that gun. Yeah, I'm going to shoot it for sure. Aim for the head or the gill plate. Right. Why? I bet you know why. Because you're going to ruin all the fillets. Exactly. Yeah. He gets it. He, you get it. Once you shoot the fish, yeah. you want to dispatch the fish, kill the fish with your knife. You just want to put the knife essentially right between the eyes. So we're, we're one snorkel, one breath. So then we go downstairs, <laughs> go downstairs into the ocean. You take the elevator. I shoot something with a rubber band. Swim over, get it. No, yeah. no, no. It'll be attached to a line. It'll attach to a line. So you, you pull surf, it in. Exactly. Surface and breathe. And as you're breathing at the surface, you and then hit it with the knife. Ka, 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 ka. Right. This is good. It's, I'll just fillet the whole fucking thing underwater. Make a little light crudo. It's fine. All right. We're just gonna skip to the species that you're gonna look you're at. Skipping Go. the relax. Yeah. Skip that part. You got relax. that. Relax. You got it. Says, <laughs> says relax. Yep. Take your time. My heart rate's chill. I'm undefeated. Never been scared in my life. <laughs> Spit. When you dive and take your last full breath, yeah. spit the snorkel out of your mouth so that when you come to the surface, you want to be able to take that first breath right. as quickly as possible and not have to use energy and time to blow the water out of your snorkel. Efficiency. This is everything that you have a decent chance of seeing today that would be good on a dinner plate. Ah! Right? To tog, that's the number one goal. To tog. Ugly but delicious fish, mild white meat. Never had Teeth it. like this. Man. They just yeah. eat crabs and stuff. They eat crabs. Yeah, they look a little bit like a meth head. It's got a face on it only a mother could love. Look at that, look at that, look at that mouth. He was in the hole in the rocks. He wouldn't wouldn't come out. He's just looking at me. Wait till you like see it. Wait till you, wait till you see its butthole. It's a thing. It's a thing. We're just gonna talk about fish buttholes. Let's do it. Uh, What's your favorite fish butthole? Tog. 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 <laughs> yeah, nice. All right, plowing forward. Cunner, two, three, four pounds. Okay. They look like red snapper almost. Yeah, yeah. They taste almost identical to tatog. You know all about lobster. We can get as many lobsters as we want under the regulations, so it's 15 per man per day. Jonah crab, you know Jonah crab? Yeah, yeah delicious. Yep, there'll be plenty of those you'll see. I what do you got them. for tips on picking up these uh, pinchy crustaceans? Some of them are gonna be really deep in a small hole and you're gonna have to kind of tease them out. I'm not kidding. Sometimes you go up and let them be curious. You got that? You don't want to rip the claws. 
One he breath, goes, go straight down. Tease him. <laughs> tease him with the face. <laughs> then go. I, I know at least one of you are going to get a lobster today. Seriously. OK. Seems like a lot. Not a lot on the menu. That, that's what I love about diving these waters is there's so much available every year. If you're doing this for years, you can still learn about new stuff to find, every day. Forage, catch. It's pretty awesome. There's more um, fish than aliens. We don't, we don't know, know that. that. We don't know that. We don't know that. Back to my point, guys. Ba we don't right. know that. Parallel uh, universes. We don't. All right, man. Don't get me started. Are you ready to get lubed up? Well, yeah. I'm just going to be like, well, I'm going to uh, just get in the water and drop everything. And like rip the belt off and just like. Start panicking. <laughs> yeah. Ah. I like dog paddling. There's no pressure. At the end of the day, safety, fun. If we can get fish, great. We'll figure it out. I think All I can right. be important. And, and valuable to the team. Just okay. I just don't know if I'm gonna be the guy going real. I'm gonna maybe be shooting from the top. You know, get maybe no. like a like a bowl, like a glass bowl, and like look down and then. First things first, you gotta get the wetsuits on. You know, that's half the battle. Yeah. yeah, let's get out of this cabin before I puke. We get you on the fish, we'll put you on this one. You pull the bands here, there. How do you pull it? You just pull it? You're gonna do that underwater. Underwater, it's but easier? it's easier? No. No. Probably the most traditional these days is just a, a rubber band gun. There's rubber bands at the tip of the muzzle and you pull them back, brings a lot of elastic energy onto the spear, or you put it on a couple notches. That spear is connected to a line, and then once that spear is on the fish, you essentially just pull in the fish, dispatch the fish. So speaking of gear, all right, we got it in our box here. Those are my flip-flips? Yeah, those are, your, those are your fins. Okay. All right, then we got here. We're gonna get you set up. You look great. Oh, this smells like weed. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you look great. I wouldn't want to bump into you underwater. Yeah, just that. Yeah, spit. Yep. <laughs> but before all that, we got to get the suit on, bud. Like that. All right, things, this is where things are going to get weird. This is cheap water down here, conditioner. Look at the color of that. Jesus Christ. All right, we don't want to talk about it on television. It's a kid's show. <laughs> and then you got to get your hand in there and just make sure, you know, yeah, you rub know. it all around. I pre lubed your suit because I care. These are pre-lubed? Pre-lubed, let me put a fresh bit of lube in there for you. Oh my God, Jesus. Ooh, mine went right off. See? <laughs> Wait, lube okay. is worth every drop, Matty. Don't skip uh, on the lube. You're doing great. <laughs> yeah? I'm you want me to it. give a little pull? Yeah, help me. Can we edit this out? No. No, no, no. 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 Pull me up. Charlie, get it. Get me in there. Get One, two, three. Get me out! <laughs> <laughs> Matty, you ain't never it looks looked fantastic. Better, right? Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, that's it. Maybe a little back action. Someone want to dunk his head with the water? Cover GQ coming soon. Look at that tank top. Yeah, dude. You look great. There we go, yes. Go. That's that right there. Now, this is the moment of truth. You got to just get your head. Go! Now, now, this is when you might suffocate. Oh, we're going to kill him. We're going to kill him. Get the knife. <laughs> dude, it's like when Jim Carrey came out of a rhino's I know. ass. That's what it was. <laughs> My armpits. Armpits are hurting. Where's my armpits? Pinch points? <laughs> <laughs> Get him in the water before we have to cut it off of him. Oh no! Ah, hardest part of the whole day is over. Okay. Nice work, Charlie. Nice work, Maddie. You look like a You stud. look great, man. Feels like I'm inside of a salamander. We're gonna go shoot some tog. There's not We're a gone. single tog in town that's safe. Woo! There's not a single goddamn tog that's safe! Yeah, we're gonna snorkel first before we give you a gun. Look at the moose knuckle on it. <laughs> I'm fogged. Oh, yeah, we got a grease we right here. Yeah, we can reuse this, eh? I'm very excited. Yeah, let me and, get uh, some of that. <laughs> now I smell like cookies. That's it, Charlie. Yeah, that's it. Can you do that? Yeah, anti fogging the agent? Let's get your fins and your weight belt. <laughs> Time is of the essence for anyone that can help because he is going to overheat. We all will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This thing is pretty toasty. Oh, yeah, I'll just do what I'm doing here. Is that all right? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Don't forget his weight belt, too. Or what? You need a weight belt. Weight belt. If you want to get in to cool off, you're welcome to do that. Yeah? Yeah. I'm ready? Yeah, I'm ready. As ready as I can be. <laughs> yeah, buddy. <laughs> Salting. Like a seahorse. Give me your mask. You're just fucking sitting right here. Huh? Yeah, give me your well, I'm coming up. Right, Mr. Announce, just sit on this. Ah, put me up. 
Oh my god! Jesus Christ, this is horrible. Size Charlie. Might be. It's on the edge. We'll measure it. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's easy. Bro, that's a keeper, bro. Hey, we Can are you no uh, sir? I got my gauge on the back of my buoy. Where's my buoy? Alright, we didn't get stopped. No, no, I just there. like waiting. I like waiting. How fast is he doing that? What's he doing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what happened? Oh good. <laughs> Prescott's my legend of sorts. He's been diving in these waters since I was born. They had a, a tough day on the scallop grounds today. They were diving for sea scallops. His ability was about two feet at the bottom, he said. Yeah. He's kindly uh, offered to give us a couple scallops for our uh, take home for the day. So. Oh, wow, thank you, sir. So check these out. When you go to a restaurant and you see sea scallops, these are the scallops that you're eating. These are living right in our waters and it's pretty special. Yes. Thank you. Look at that. That's where your scallops come from. You want to eat it right out of the shell? It'll be the best scallop you've ever had. Oh. <laughs> come for dinner. <laughs> oh my god, it doesn't get fresher than that. <laughs> wow. Wow. That's incredible. Never done that in my life. Just straight out the ocean. Wow. Crazy. Holy shit. Yeah, hey, you ready? Yeah, they'll bite. It's so good. Isn't that wild? You want to eat one? I just ate one. I'll eat another one. Get a shot of that. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Bro, it's insane. <laughs> it's like candy, right? Yeah. yeah. That's amazing. Thank you. All right, last one, and then I'm going to get lobster. Yeah. Charlie got a lobster. I got one crab. <laughs> he got one crab. I'm holding on to the boat. It's going well. Dude, we're going to get done. We're just getting started. Yeah. There's something really satisfying about being able to harvest a targeted fish. You don't get the shot and you're running out of air. You're running, you know, so you gotta go back up and you're like, all right, he's down in that rock. Mm -hmm. And then if you do eventually get him, being able to bring that home, there's nothing better than getting it yourself. Yeah, and you're absolutely right. It's a, I mean, there's strategy to it. Just on Friday, I was, I was diving in some of the areas we're gonna be diving. It was about a 10 minute chess game between me and this trigger fish. It was deep in a hole. I thought it went out of an escape hatch. I then spent five minutes <laughs> looking around that one hole. It just went so deep in the hole and laid flat on the ocean floor like a piece of paper. Laid flat? Laid flat, it looked like a rock. So I, I stick my head as far as I can into this little hole and I see just the wisp of the tail fin and I was able to get the shot off and I got the fish. But to your point, it's a, it can be a 10 minute chess game with a fish. Listen, they've got nothing but time. It's all they do and they've been doing it for millions of years. It's called trying to stay alive right. and dodge predators, right? Right, understand. Beyond us diving into what might as well be underwater space, there's plenty of other predators down there trying to eat. I mean, it's a circle right. of life down there, you know? Right. So, and uh, you're part of it. So exactly. it's important to be safe and as you said, be humble. Before he goes in, I'll back up towards the shallows. Right. Yeah, back me up. Bring me right over to him. Help me out, guys. Guys, this is crazy. <laughs> this is crazy. This is crazy. Crazy. This All right. Crazy. Please. Throw that back on. I'm gonna help you. We're gonna get you back to <laughs> the spot. Help me out. Oh, right. What'd you get? Big. I think it's a Jonah crab. Wow. Good eating, buddy. Sick. What did I get? <laughs> <laughs> Nice lobster. 
Buddy. Where'd you find that, you fishy bastard? <laughs> we'll, we'll check if it's the regs. We'll, we'll see if she's sized. Doesn't have eggs, that's good. Yeah, no we'll, eggies. Tasty. Yeah. Snappy. No, 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 no. Uh, <laughs> nice catch, Matty. I got it egg from the bottom. Seven GoPros, no one got the shot. No one got the shot. <laughs> no, 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 no. Hey, let me show you what else we got in here. <laughs> what do we got? Couple? Oh, yeah! Oh, there's a Okay, pull it up! Okay! Hey! Hey! Look! We got a couple, Connor. Is really? It? Yeah, I'll show you. Oh, beautiful, man. Yeah. Let me see. Crazy. Sick, dude. Great table fare, eat just like the tog. Jeez. Can do pretty much anything with them. And there's no limits, very abundant. Nice work, Charlie! get a tog and two foot of viz. We'll yeah, see. we're looking for two foot of viz. So like the main opportunity here <laughs> is to catch a fish with a spear gun. There's sharks out there. It's looking sharky. I don't want to go in because I can barely breathe. Send the ledge. Send the local legend. Get the fish. We'll cook it. And <laughs> look at this. This is beautiful. Look at our little guys. Every time I move, the warm, it's still warm, the pee in it. I feel it move it's not around coming. like. It's not, you got to drip it out, man. Not on the deck. We're in the middle Ocean, this is crazy. Look how beautiful this is. Jurassic Park. Yeah. Pterodactyl. Kaka! Kaka! Megalodons. Megalodons, couple of zebra tooths. Dude, I learned how to dive. And you know what else I learned? I'm not good at it. Dude, we got crabs. Dude, we got crabs, we lobster. got scallops, we got lobster, we got a couple of cunnies. Takes a village. The world isn't just one person. Sorry, sorry. Why are we supposed to go out? And get everything. What? What? What is it? What is this? A, a fairy tale? No, this yeah. is reality. Ooh, this, is, this is reality. We're out here sucking on this ocean air. That's that diesel exhaust again. And look at these guys. They're just out there by the rocks. He's got eyes on the back of the head. You know what the eyes on the back of his head are? For sharks. Yeah. It reminds me of like when you see those guys in India, the farmers, yeah. and they wear the mask on their head. So tigers don't eat them. Yeah. I'm oh. snorkeling. I'm looking at crabs like a little boy. Yeah. And then all of a sudden you turn around and it's boom. He don't have hands, he's just coming up. This is his hands. Ow! I look like a seal for God's sakes. Yeah! I feel like a seal. I can't even like move this thing. No, we're good, we're good. Charlie! Oh, we lost them. Where's some of these sandwiches? Let's have yeah, a sandwich. Uh, this, is a, this is a food truck. Ooh, that was good. Yeah. Yeah. See this one? Hey. What are you doing? All right, boys. Local legends. Thank God they are. We ain't. Uh -uh. You got it? I think they got it. They're acting like weird. Where the f is he going? 
He's diving. Goddamn Captain America, man. Oh, they're diving. I found a camera I lost two months ago. Stop. Whoa. Yeah. How do you cook those? <laughs> Best catch of the day right there. It's got some barnacles on it now. Thought I'd never find it again. And this is a female lobster with eggs. Most of them have eggs right now. Wow. So that's going back. It's going so to take it's, about seven years for those eggs to turn into one pound lobster. Is that right? Yeah. Well, she's pretty. With a face only a mother could love. Say goodbye. Goodbye. I think that camera's just as pretty. Look at it. Yeah. Been sitting there. That's amazing. Charlie Nutting. <laughs> Return it. USA. Now I've got to figure out what to do with that other GoPro. They're seals or sharks. Thank you, Maddie. That's what they say. That's what my granddad used to tell me. We had some tough conditions, but still I managed to get a good cooler full of uh, seafood. We're checking one more spot now. We want to get some to tog. Last spot, last chance, man. We'll give it a go. Last but chance. at the end of the day, man, we, we kind of crushed it. We got Maddie in the water. We got the suit on. We got some snorkeling in. It's been the best day of my life. It's been the best day of my life. <laughs> All right, lead the way, nutting. Come on, nutting. You guys jump in, I'll put my fins on last. <laughs> yeah. It'd be really agile to do this shit. One of the things I love most about diving and spearfishing is it gives me an intense focus. It doesn't matter what's going on in the rest of your life or the world. Uh, could be a great week, could be a horrible week. When you're diving, you're thinking about only that, really because you have to both because of the purpose, you know, the objectives that you have while you're diving, also for your own safety, and because with the visibility, if you're swimming, let's say, three feet a second, and the visibility is 10 feet, every three seconds, your entire world changes. Right, sure. So you're constantly discovering things, you're constantly assessing, and it, in a weird way, that intense focus, it, it can be relaxing. A lot of folks that do free diving are also, uh, they meditate and they do yoga. It's a form of meditation in it a is. sense, I yeah. mean, right? I really have enjoyed getting closer to my food, and that's true obviously with spearfishing, but it's also true with foraging I've gotten into. Whenever the diving is bad, I'll go foraging. The same reason why people go on hikes, or the same reason why people collect rocks or visit jungles, right? Like, it, it brings, it keeps us grounded and attached to nature. It slows things down, and for me, puts it in perspective. 100%. It's like traveling in outer space. It really is a different world. It's our world. That's also why I feel so compelled to share it. So many people don't see it, and you can't appreciate what you don't see. You can't protect what you don't know. Whoa, there. They're wavy out here. You're getting good. We went out. You saw me. I dove in. I swam. I swam out there. I tried. But there's some things you can't prepare for. So I got beached, kind of. I got a little <laughs> too close to the rocks. And then the waves just blew me up onto a, a rock. And then I was holding on to the seaweed, I think. And then I was just getting blown away. And then, and then my, my mask filled with water and my snorkel filled with water. And I was just kind of filled with water and getting waved out or barreled. I was barreled. barreled I was yeah. in the barrel. You were barreled. And you got shacked. I got, I got shacked. And, you know, beached, beached is fine. I'm not an athlete. You need to be an athlete to get in the water. We're just swimming around. The, oh, you can see the boat's tipping and tapping. The waves are like 30 feet high. There's seals, there's sharks, there's octopuses everywhere. It's just, I don't know what to do. Get out of the sea! Ugh. There. Stupidest thing. Terrible sport. No. Oh. <laughs> oh god. Brad brought me to Boston to drown me. I tried to actually. No, we have to tighten the belt around your feet. No one else is doing it, but trust me. Yeah, they're like, put this belt on, it goes around your feet. I don't even know how to use fins or flippers or whatever these things are. And then my snorkel just kept filling with water and I drank like user air. So, you know, I caught a crab though. You saw me catch a crab. That happened for real. You got it. You got a Jonah crab. Look at that thing, huh? How did you cook that up? Cold crab hot butter. Oh, yeah. Oh. It's 
much as we would have loved to have caught or shot some tog. The cunner was such a wonderful happy accident. Maddie and I discovered that the cunner is absolutely delicious. Also, just like being in the ocean, eating like fresh shucked scallops from the ocean, yeah, being in the highlight. ocean physically, it was, like an, it was like an incredible moment. Yeah. So the day was a beautiful one. So thank awesome. you. For sure, yeah. man. Thank you, Charlie and crew. Can't express how important it is to dive with people that know what they're doing and the waters that you're in. Learn and talk to people as you'll be surprised how folks like Charlie are willing to help people who care. And mostly thank you Mother Nature and Taxman for not collecting that day. I couldn't be the guy responsible for Canadian sensation Maddie Matheson getting chomped. Till next time, big dog. Now let's cook this bounty, something we're both way better at. Local legends. I can't believe Brad, Brad calls me up. He's like, hey, you wanna go spear fish? I'm like, yeah. I thought we literally were gonna be standing on a boat throwing spears into the ocean. And I've learned a humbling moment today. I'm so good at everything, but there's a couple little things I'm not that good at, you know? Spear fishing, but all in all, sun shining, we're meeting beautiful people, seeing old friends, meeting new friends. Ah! You kidding me? Come on! I just finished your show for you. Come on. We're good. Jesus, Murphy Jones. Just covered in acid light inside of this thing. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. About three minutes, Chef. Three minutes. Maybe, well, maybe two, Chef. Maybe two. Maybe one and a half. Maybe one and a half. 45 seconds, Chef. 45 seconds. All right, back to our original programming.